and a member of the opposition, Isaac Baptist, has called on the government to re-evaluate its plan to move forward with the geothermal plant in the Roseau Valley. During the 2017-2018 budget address, the Minister for Finance and Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt underscored that funding has already been secured to move the project along. The last 12 months, we have established the Dominica Geothermal Development Company, DGDC, with a full complement of staff to move ahead with the construction of the power plant. In June of this year, the government of New Zealand recruited a project manager who is now engaged with the DGDC. Funding from the project will come from various sources. Government will contribute EC $40.5 million. In addition to government's contribution, we have secured all the funds required to construct the plant for our development plan, for our development plan. <laughs> Grant funding will comprise an amount of $30 million from the government of the United Kingdom, $5.4 million from the government of New Zealand, $5.4 million from SIDSDA. Go the government has also applied for a grant funding under the United Arab Emirates Caribbean Renewable Energy Fund. The grant is expected to be between $8.1 million and $13.5 million and would fund a battery storage system to be used in the national electricity grid. Funding will also be obtained from the World Bank in the form of a loan of $16.2 million at a highly concessionary rate of 0.75% with a 10-year grace period and 40 years repayment plan. But in response to the Prime Minister's assertions, Baptist stressed that going forward with the plant would not be the responsible thing to do. There are projects that will sustain this new development model. They are just rehashing the same projects, Madam Speaker. Projects you have heard for years upon years upon years, Madam Speaker. Geothermal energy. To save face, this continuation of this project is basically to save face. And I support the leader of the opposition, United Workers Party position, that we will suspend development of this project and will give you reason why, Madam Speaker. That's good. Every expert is saying to you, that the geothermal project in the valley is not sustainable. Why? I'll tell you why. One, the depth of the wells, they said it is too deep. So therefore, management, maintenance, the maintenance of the plant will be, will be a lot of corrosion. Madam Speaker, the project that was said to, would be giving us some 60 megawatts of electricity to sell to France. The minister, who is now Minister of National Security, even told us it would have cost us 10 cents per kilowatt. Yes. And right now, today, they cannot get one private sector to buy into the project, Madam Speaker. Yes. Madam Speaker, the fact that these international agencies are giving you money for it, it is not justification for the project. Because it is just a PR for them. The, we are in the age of renewable energy. So therefore, when they give you a 10, 10, 20, 15 million, it's PR for them. Because they want to give, they tell you they give small island developing states, small island developing states, but the billions are going to the... Baptist went further to point out that there are alternatives. Experts have advised, and we believe it and we accept it, that Dominica can get renewable energy self-sufficiency within three years. If you concentrate on hydro, solar and wind, coupled with, coupled with more efficiency in the system and in individual homes in terms of retrofitting, etc. In fact, the statistics will show that with, comparable to with geothermal, you have hydro six, cost you 60% less, wind 55% less, and solar 55% less. Prime Minister Skerritt explained that an environmental and social impact assessment in Roseau Valley will be conducted to evaluate the impact of construction and operation of the plant on residents of that area. He assured that every effort will be made to ensure that the adverse effects on the environment and the residents will be mitigated and compensation will be given to landowners to ensure that they are not left worse off. 
Skerritt added that Jacobs New Zealand Limited, the technical consultants, are progressing with designs for the plant, which will be presented later on this year, and procurement of construction contracts will take place soon after.